What's going on everyone, Tina here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the reason why you should be pulling for Nahida. So far, all the Dendro characters that we have gotten had a problem. They were not able to do Dendro application on demand. For example, DMC, the reason why she was really highly valued is because of her ult. As soon as you use her ult, she's gonna be consistently doing dead replications off field. Well, her main problem was the energy charge. Therefore, I solved that problem by giving her a sacrificial sword, and that worked out really great. That's why she needed another Dendro character on the side. And especially for Nilo team, if you mess up your rotations, you are not able to do bloom damage. When that happens, there is a DPS loss. And Nahida is going to fix that. Not only that, but also she can be in many other teams. I'm going to be showcasing two teams. Well, obviously, first one is Nilo team because I always thought Nilo team was kind of not complete. And the next team is going to be the Aggravate team. So without explaining all those skill description first, I'm going to do a showcase and walk you through how she works in a team and why you should be pulling for her. It's been a while since we got a character where I can just say something like, yo, you should pull her, you know? So I'm very excited. Without further ado, let's get into it right away. Okay. So Nilo, E three times. Dendro, DMCQ. Do this. Put down the jellyfish. Nahida Q. Use E. Swap out right away. Can heal your characters. That's all that. Because Nahida is relatively squishier compared to other characters here. Okay, that's how we do the Spirit Biz and that's how this team works. So let me explain to you why you need to pull for Nahida. As you guys have seen previously in this video, she is perfect for Nilo team because she can do Dendro application on demand. However, if you take a look at her E skill, you'd be very surprised. When she just taps her E, she does Dendro damage up to 8 opponents around you. And then when you do a hold E, you can aim at the monsters, you can mark up to 8 enemies, and then obviously when you're doing this, your resistance to interruption gets increased. And then when you release your E skill, then you do dendro damage. However, after that, all the mark enemies within certain amount of distance are all connected. And then if you trigger elemental reactions to those enemies who are linked, Nahida will do dendro damage based on her attack and elemental mastery. And that is called Tri Karma. You have to remember this, okay? So. This is her Q. We have seen her Q from the demo videos where everyone was like, wow, that is so beautiful. I think so too. It makes me feel like I have a house. But anyways, this is the reason why I say you need to pull for Nahida. She's not only great for Nilo team, but also she can go into many other potential team in the future. She gets various bonus from having either Pyro, Electro or Hydro in our team. And then depending on how many of them are in the team, she gets a stronger bonus. So when you have Pyro in her team, while Nahida remains within the Q, then the damage dealt by Tricarma Purification from her E is increased. And if you have Electro, while Nahida is in her Q, the interval between each Tricarma Purification from her E is decreased. Then if you have Hydro in the team, then her Q duration is increased. Now, how much? Here it says at level 6, if you have one pyro, it increases by 20%. And if you have two pyro characters, 31%. I would say pyro is not that good unless our damage from Nahida is very, very good. If you have one electro, the trigger interval decrease is 0.35 seconds. If you have two characters, you have 0.52 seconds. And then when you have hydro, one hydro gives you 4.68 seconds extension. And then two hydro gives you 7.02 seconds at level six. I always had this problem. As you level up skill levels, it usually gave you damage bonus, not like the utility bonus, right? So here, not only does it give you bonus damage, but also it decreases the trigger interval and also it gives you extra duration extensions. This is why I think she's kind of like a new Kazuha. Look at this. When she uses her Q, the elemental mastery of the active character within the field will be increased by 25% of the elemental mastery of the party member with the highest elemental mastery. You can gain up to 
250 EM in this manner. That's more than a main stat EM can give you. So that is always good, right? 250 EM, that is pretty high. So which means that you could be building your character without EM. And if you just have Nahida with a lot of EM, right? Maybe possibly 1000 EM, then you're going to be getting 250 EM with that. That is always good. And then here, here is our second passive. Each point of Nahida's elemental mastery beyond 200 will grant 0.1% damage bonus and 0.03% crit rates to try karma purification from all schemes to know. We did some testing along with all the other team comps that I was using. And it turns out it is better if you use all EM Sands Goblet and Circlet because of our passives. So if you do have those EM Sands, EM Goblet, and EM Circlet with a lot of hits, that's how you would be building Nahida. The amount of damage that she helps you do is so crazy. I'll show you in the next video. All right, let's talk about her best in slot weapon. This is a very long description, so think about it like this. If there's Nahida and if there's Dendro elements, for example, you have DMC, then you get 32 EM. If they have a different element other than Dendro because we're using it on Nahida, you're getting 10% of the damage bonus of your character type. And because you can have four characters in a team, besides Nahida, you can have three stacks because Nahida doesn't count. And on top of that, everyone is getting 40 EM besides Nahida. And this can be stacked. It honestly feels like this weapon is kind of OP. However, Nahida is still going to be great with F2P weapons like Scoured Atlas. You could also be using Memory of Dust if you wish. I wouldn't though. Just anything that actually helps you get more EM or attack, that's going to be good. So don't worry too much just because you don't have her best in slot weapon. She's not like Nilo. It is not required. But this weapon seems to be too good. So in this video, we're going to be using this weapon. Now that we know her skill kit, why don't we go ahead and take her into the aggregate team and see how she works as a main Dendro DPS. Do this, take a picture. Uh, I don't think that's how you use Nahida. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. We have too many options to choose from. First, we have Yaimiko that scales off of EM, mostly her attack, but EM is going to work as bonus, right? So Nahida, Yaimiko is always a plus. So we want to keep Yaimiko in the team. Two, we could be using Raiden Shogun, but she's also an on-field character for seven seconds after she gets her Q, right? So that is also weird because she doesn't need energy recharge. Same thing with Yaimiko. So I would say Raiden Shogun is not a good character. If I were to put Sino, he doesn't have a good synergy with Yaimiko because she doesn't create too much particles. So Sino is not it. So basically from here, you would need a healer or a shielder. We definitely want to stay away from Zhang Li because he's Jiu. So there's no bonus for Nahida whatsoever. Alternatively, you could probably think of Toma as well because he provides relatively thicker HP compared to other shield characters. However, he's also a not so good character, so that's a no. I could probably recommend using Bennett because, well, he's a Pyro Archon, right? <laughs> he can do damage, he can heal. They can also apply Pyro on demand almost if you have C6 as always. And then lastly, because we have a healer, we could possibly be using Singchu or Yellen so that they're going to be doing all field damage. So therefore, we can conclude that she is not a niche character. But before we say anything about this team, we should probably move on and just do a showcase, okay? We'll see how this team works. Right set up here. I should have used Net's Q first. Let me weave you a verse. Rain outlines your fate. Nothing left. It is. Right now, right here, right now. Share my knowledge. There was like no bonus that we got from Nahida's Q from there. That's not how you use. Sing to you, dumbass. Just Q. Okay, let's take a picture. Cheese. They connected. They connected. Keep the turret up. 
Take a picture. Oh. Oh. I like. Wait, what am I doing? Oh my god, I almost died. No? Ooh. <laughs> Very fun team. But we did too much damage. So I'm assuming that if I use this in an F2P account like that, it's going to be great. For those people who went for Yai Miko, you made a good choice. If you are going to be getting the Archon, right? Okay. What do you guys think about Nahida? Do you think she's good? Niche? Bad? I think she is pretty universal compared to other characters that came out recently. But obviously, when you compare her with Kazuha, Zhongli, Raiden, Shogun, she's not that universal. However, this character helps me breathe now. I felt like I was suffocating. You know, Tainari, Sino. You know, I was like, what the heck is going on? But because we got a Dendro character that works with other elements. I'm just like, yo, thank you, man. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what you think about Nahida. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.